Fire consumed several thousand acres of brush, grass, and wheat in northwestern Walla Walla County Tuesday afternoon. Officials have told the UB's Andy Porter that the five-mile-long blaze started on Scheffler Road and burned a vacant house and two outbuildings. Now that we've landed some bigger Horizon airplanes that will start arriving in Walla Walla in late October, we better start using them more or one might be taken off. Vicki Hillhouse reports today that we board roughly 85 people a day here. We'll probably need at least 125 passengers in order to keep all our three flights. And Vicki says the key technology expansion project still is being stymied by archaeological artifacts that were located a while back near the old Fort Walla Walla. Recovery of the items has cost Key about $55,000 so far. Backhoes will be used to search for more items. From football fields to grape fields, Drew Bledsoe is getting into the wine business here in the Walla Walla Valley. The retired professional quarterback is joining winemaker Chris Figgins to launch Doubleback, a new estate-focused winery that will produce an ultra-premium red wine to be released in 2010. You can read details by Vicki in Strictly Business. What are the odds of this happening? Charlene Williamson of College Place, who's been stricken by leukemia, loves to play games and chat online with her friends without faces at pogo.com. UB reporter Sheila Hagar says, last weekend, eight of those virtual pals from California, Oregon, and Washington traveled here to meet her personally and to support her in her struggle for health. You can get away from it all in our first installment of must-see sites in our area. In our Day on a Dime feature today, City Editor Alistair Stewart introduces us to the McNary Wildlife Refuge near Burbank. There, visitors can mingle with the sheltered waterfowl, game birds, and turtles. The refuge is about 40 miles west of Walla Walla. And you're likely to get hooked on this fish tail. Our Don Davison family recently drove to McNary Dam after he read that 10,000 fish passed by the count window the day before. While Nora the Schnauzer nabbed some shade, Davis was geared to reel in some shad. How'd he do? Well, I'll tell you, he almost got heat stroke. And he'll tell you the rest in his outdoor column today. And be sure to come in out of the sun tomorrow for another edition of The Daily Bite. <laughs>